People don't always like you. And they're not always happy for you. And if you surround yourself with people who are not accustomed to your success, they become fearful. They become scared because you are reflecting back something to them that they don't recognize. Now they're not going to say, you know, I'm very fearful because you're reflecting back to me something I don't recognize. They're going to say, you know what they're going to say? They're going to say, who she thinks she is? Who she thinks she is? That only happens when you are around people who do not mean and want and aspire to the best for you. People who want the best for you want you to be your best. What's up, y'all? This is 1020 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's going on, my good? All right, public service announcements. We can't start without saying, bam! Check out tyworld.com, okay? Ty, T-I-Y-E, world.com. Okay, we got books, we got games, we got puzzles, okay? Christmas is coming. Look at the website. We even have mommy and me and matching pajamas. So check it out. Okay. This is all in um, uh, my, my daughter's business. Okay. Uh, your daughter, your son, if you got kids, your little cousin, your nephew, they all need to have businesses. Okay. Millennials have businesses. Okay. That's just is what it is. Also, that is me at the beginning and end of every motherfucking video okay um rocking couture love definitely check it out love will always be spelled l-u-v all right so what's up scorpios how y'all doing all right so today we getting in i need love all right one time i did this hard it didn't come out right okay don't don't crash your car but boom we doing love today okay all right so let's see what's going on we got all the lovers cards out here all right we gonna get some more out here too all right, so we're going to get this one out here, and we also going to do something strange for a piece of change. You feel me, Scorpio? Okay, because all of us, we don't see nothing wrong. Hey, with a little bump and grind. Okay, everybody like a little bump and grind. Okay, as long as it's healthy and everybody is clean. Okay. <laughs> all right, y'all, so let's get into it. All right, so where are we at? Let me get the... The other cards. I don't know. You be, I know y'all be like, damn girl, why you don't even be ready? You don't be ready at work either. Shit. They be like, you clocked in? Yeah. Where your badge at? Oh, it's in the car. Well, nigga, you knew you was coming to work. My bad. Let me go get it. I'm the same way. My badge don't never be there, girl. Y'all, it always be in the car or something. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, Scorpio, somebody really want to have sex with you? My dear. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but all the cards fell out. Okay. So we ain't getting into this until later okay and we might not have to we don't even know okay all right scorpios let's see what's going on in the grid with love for y'all okay what's up all right so scorpios what's going on we got true love and addictions god damn right out the gate okay all right so spirit guys ancestors we come before you now for a clear message you want to know what's going on with my scorpios okay what can we expect in love what's going on with my scorpios and they love life this is a collective read okay we got sideways okay overcoming the odds okay so if you are a part of the underdog you know what i'm saying if you one of those people it's like man everybody said your relationship wasn't gonna last now i am not talking about if your relationship and you getting abused he's cheating on you i'm not talking about that okay i'm talking about something that's solid you know y'all can't be together because of uh extra external circumstances you know what i'm saying but you ain't never did nothing strange for no piece of change y'all about to overcome these odds okay this could be somebody who like wearing shorts a lot this also could be a feminine energy whose hair is really long or you got long weave okay nonetheless y'all will overcome the odds but it's gonna happen later in the year i'm feeling here okay so what odds are y'all overcoming Ooh, self-love okay so one of you guys it could be the masculine because i did move to that side 
This person doesn't love their self unconditionally. Now, what does that mean? Now, sometimes as males, they were raised to perceive that, yeah, you know, niggas don't cry. Everybody needs to cry. Your body is a machine, just like a car that needs an oil change, which basically means your Merkaba has to cry as well as a female's Merkaba has to cry. It's all the same spaceship. We are souls having a human experience. What does that mean? It means that when you die, what is it? Seven, seven little something goes away and you can't see it that's the soul but the meat suit stays the meat suit needs to purge this masculine energy was told not to cry not to show their um, emotions to hide their emotions put your woman's feelings first put your kids first put all this shit first um the church told him that you know honor your husband honor your all this stuff that the church did and all of this stuff but in actuality that is not what the universe wanted at all that's not what god want god wants you to be true to thy own self be your authentic self don't put people in front of you if you treat yourself like shit everybody else gonna treat you like shit too so there is a masculine energy who is basically going to overcome the odds. They're going to learn their self-worth. They could be going through this right now, understanding that people that they put in before them don't really give a fuck about them. And they could be learning their self-worth as, as we speak, okay? All right, so this could be anybody. This could be your dad realizing, you know, he need to learn his self-worth. This could be somebody that's in your life that's close to you. This could be your male friend. Like, bro, your, your wife be disrespecting the dog shit out of you, bro. You need to stand up for yourself, okay? All right, so this person feels like if they do stand up for themselves, they're sabotaging their commitment. They're sabotaging the vows that they made. They're sabotaging all of this stuff, and that's sad, okay? But remember... They're going to overcome all of this, okay? But with self-sabotage, that's basically saying like, I got to do this because this is how my daddy did it. This is how my grandpa did it. This is how my mama did it. You know what I'm saying? And that is not the way that we live right now. We don't live that way no more, okay? We, we don't trade goats and shit for cars. So this is outdated. You know, somebody may have some outdated views. You can't be still doing the same old dumb ass shit. We got self-sabotage though. So that also means that somebody constantly cheats on somebody. Constantly cheat, play them, treat them like shit, all of that shit. And they just go right back to them, okay? That could be changing because it says overcoming the odds. Oh, or they're saying that they're going to stay together no matter what. Okay, wow. Inspiring. Okay, so spirit is pulling this person to say, hey, do something different. Please, please, please do not go back to this energy. Please, please, please pick a better path. And this person could be doing black magic on this person. Now, I want you guys to be very clear about black magic. It's not what you perceive it to be. But some people who do stuff that's dark and it look like whoever this is, if this is you, Scorpio, your angels are still watching you. They still watch you it's an owl here so somebody has a lot of people in their ear it could be this could be a fit let me look at the damn thing they told me to look at it yeah they could be having two people hold somebody back here all right wow I mean, for real okay so look at this card collective I want to look at it with y'all so look at her hand her hand is holding her wound space. So somebody could have recently got pregnant or stayed with someone because they thought they were having a child, but that child will not even conceive here. Okay, then they got another demonic hand right next to the candle being blown out. And then you got an owl at the top. So there's a lot of secrets that are being held here. Okay, somebody could really be holding somebody's throat chakra back or holding somebody back altogether. Now, this person could be a parent because they have their hand on the shoulder like you have to. This person could be a spouse was basically just whispering into somebody's ear and doing it constantly. But this motherfucker over here, this is a parent that's toxic as fuck. It either could be a sibling as well. But nonetheless, they have a real influence on the things that you do, Scorpio, and the way that you move or the way that your person move, okay? Wow, that's crazy. Now, you could be inspiring to this person, Scorpio. You could be this energy over here. You could be inspiring. You could be highly creative. You could be. You could have a strong will to succeed. You could be basically like in a high vibrational energy. You could be revealing yourself to other people. You could be expanding. You could be broadening your horizons. And you could be very, very like um, known for most of your accolades and the things that you do in your community and your projects you could be very inspiring this person could be very taken by you okay so with overcoming the odds is where we're ending 
this person got to go through goddamn self-respect and integrity to be with you scorpio they also got to let go of a stronghold that they have from a family member or two family members here okay but they want to do this because they think that you're very inspiring okay so somebody thinks that you're really inspiring scorpio okay um they think that you're very practical and very generous okay they also love your perspective and how you view things how you see the world wow this person really really likes you okay i don't know who this is but this is somebody who don't feel like they on your level though okay and this person also feels like they will sabotage things if they came into your life okay so this is somebody that got to work on their self-esteem but they're gonna do it because crowning your read is overcoming the odds so what else does this person want to say to my collective I'm pissed that you cut off me, cut off my, uh, you cut me off energetically. Okay, so Scorpio, you could have been in this person's life and you could have realized this person was doing things that you don't fuck with. You like, I don't move like that. Okay, then they did it again and you like, look, I gotta go. Okay, and this person could be mad as fuck. Like, how the fuck you just gonna pull your energy from me? And the reason why this person is mad like this is because normal people be like, oh, okay, well, you, you dog me, you stood me up, but I'm gonna send you a text message in three weeks to see if you over it yet. Hell nah, you ain't like that. You ain't gotta send me no message in three weeks nigga i ain't gonna pick up i ain't gonna respond unless you coming with something new i don't know why the fuck you bringing your ass back over here again and somebody is pissed off that you can put these healthy boundaries down and still continue to live your life you know one monkey don't stop no show you better check yourself nigga all right so nonetheless they are pissed that you have energetically pulled your energy back and it's not because you don't want to talk to this person because you do you want to be in this person's atmosphere but why would you just sign up to be getting drugged come on scorpio we don't do shit like that come on we inspiring people we ain't got we ain't got time to get drugged okay so this person do want to come in they want to flirt with you okay after you know not feeling like they're not enough for you so somebody does want to come in and flirt with you but let's see why they want to come in and flirt okay they want to exchange some lighthearted energy remember when i told y'all earlier how a motherfucker want to act stupid and then two weeks later be like hey how you doing uh-uh you gonna have to come correct when you come with a scorpio what is your intent because we can go back to not talking oh queen oh okay oh eight of pentacles okay so this person want to flirt okay and it's because you're the queen of cups okay so the queen of cups is loving you know you got you some little pillows over there it's like oh let's fall into the fabric okay these titties is nice okay then we got the eights over here the eight of pentacles so somebody doesn't want to come back just to fuck they want to come back to bill they want to sit down they want to have tea they want to lay naked they want to kick it they want to do it all okay the eight of pentacles is about building they want to build a firm foundation with you a company and with the queen of cups they feel like you're loving all right they also feel like you're a princess and somebody wants to pay you're a masculine they just want you to sit down and they just want to serve you up right quick and if you're a feminine they want to lay you down okay and do something ooh, so nice okay i ain't mad at it scorpio maybe you need you a little tlc okay somebody really like your breast though okay this man don't even got no face bro look where's his face at you like you don't need a face come here okay <laughs> all right so let's see all right so somebody wants to overcome the odds they want to come back to you scorpio okay they change their perspective on you they see how you move they like what you got going on they feel like you're very generous and they feel like you're super inspiring to a lot of people this person want to build with you they want to work with you okay they also want to know about tea also scorpio you could be learning about teas you could be drinking teas and shit like that that's really good keep going with that also in the fall this person is going to be coming towards you maybe even around your birthday okay stop playing okay i'm not ready okay so this person isn't ready yet to come towards you scorpio but they will in the past this person is going to overcome all of this self-sabotage and this self-love and this self-doubt that they have and if this is not them this is you okay and spirit is telling you just do what you got to do keep your perspective up you are being generous you ain't got nothing to worry about somebody's coming in they want to flirt with you but this is the same person who's pissed because you got healthy boundaries but you know who you are you know what you bring to the table can't nobody change no shit like that with a scorpio okay so let's see what the hidden truth is too so one of the things that you need to know about this person is that they're not ready right now okay um and at the back in the day you and this person saw life differently maybe you knew what it was but they didn't know maybe their conscience is now being raised a little bit and now they're looking at things from a higher perspective and you just got to respect that scorpio you know sometimes you know we learn shit faster than other people do but they see life differently now and their ancestors is doing that because they've been watching you from afar and you actually been inspiring this person to move different act different and maybe even talk different. I'll see y'all next time. And be very, very unhappy and confused if you are more loyal to people than your values. Your life won't make sense.
and you will become part of the Wuda Shuddha Kuddha. And then you may have a great awakening, and in that great awakening, you will reset everything. So I don't, I may be wrong about this, but I don't think I have ever consciously cut somebody out of my life. I just live my life in such a way that you're gonna cut yourself out of my life, or not.